the game to see the boxing for me. Okay, the big contest this week is, of course, titled after uh, Jacobs and Quillen. Uh, now, Jacobs and Quillen is being offered in a variety of ways, and I do want to break this down real quick. Like always, there are uh, throwdown fantasy points that you can play for. You can play an absolutely free game, which I won the other day on the Cotto Canelo, and it paid me money, I promise you. Uh, so free, you can play for free, but you can win money, okay? Um, so uh, I do want to mention that they are offering a $10 game, and a $2 game, but the exciting part about it is now they're offering heads-up matches. So you want to play me, and you don't want to play a bunch of other people, you just want to see if you're better than me, then you hit me up, and we can play for $25, right? We can play for $50, or we can play for $100 if you're going to get crazy, but don't get crazy because I'm that good. Um, but you can play your friends, you know, you can challenge other guys, and you can play like that. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to go with my uh, guarantees of the week. Um, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to start with my sleepers. I'm so sorry. I'm going to start with my sleepers because Peter Quillen is on the board after all, and he is one of my sleepers. He is one of my sleepers because right now Peter Quillen is going for an insane low number, guys. This, at the end of the day, is going to go down as, in my opinion, one of the best quality bang-for-your-buck type picks that Throwdown's ever offered. Peter Quillen is 4,700 right now. That helps so much compared to Danny Jacobs, who is 5,100. Now, Peter Quillen is only averaging 68.9 fantasy points compared to Danny Jacobs' 85.5 points, um, but Peter Quillen is landing 120 punches out of 316 throw for 38%. I think he's a good pick here. I think that even if, at the end of the day, he doesn't come up with a victory, he'll still get you enough points, and at 4,700, it's a good pick because you can still save money to buy some of the more expensive Expensive fighters. Um, my other buyer beware. I mean, I'm sorry. My other sleeper is uh, going to be part of the 4300 club, and uh, I don't think we have a graphic for that. But Eric Bonet and Jonathan Aquendo are both underdogs in their respective fight for 4300, and you can see um, there in the graphic for for the fight. Um, they are coming in at 4300 apiece. Eric Bonet, of course, is fighting Chris Algieri. Now, we got a call earlier in the show, and they talked about Eric Bonet looking good against Sean Porter. That is my exact reasoning for wanting to go with Eric Bonet. Look, Chris Algieri is not knocking anyone out, so Eric Bonet is going to get those points. He's going to get the distance points, and that's what you want. At the end of the day, you'd rather have a guy who you know is going to go the distance than a guy who's going to get in firefights and could potentially get knocked out, because his points are going to cap out at you know round four, or round seven, or whatever round he gets stopped. But if you go all rounds, uh, you know you go the distance, then you're going to get those points. For Jonathan Aquendo, um, he looked really good in his last fight, um, and I think that what it boils down to is Jesus Cuellar. Sometimes he has power, sometimes he does he doesn't. But Jonathan Aquendo is averaging 48.7 fantasy points. He's throwing 402 punches, and he's landing 111. That's not a high connect percentage, but that's a lot of punches. So for 4,300, if you're in a tight bind and you went really high for your money, those are not bad picks. They really are not. Um, and so I think that at the end of the day, you can look at both of those picks, the 4300 club is what I'm calling them, and be very, very safe that you're going to get the most points out of those underdogs versus any of the under underdogs. So uh, I'm going to move on to my buyer beware because it ties in to um, one of my sleepers. And my buyer beware is Chris Algieri. Chris Algieri is coming into this fight. He's 20 and 2 with 8 KOs. That's a 36% KO ratio. Okay. Uh, Chris Algieri has three stoppage victories in his last 10 wins. Now, remember, he's lost twice in his last fight, so I'm not counting the fights that he lost. So in 12 fights, he has three stoppages, uh, but in 10 wins, he has three stoppages. It's not very high, guys. I don't like Chris Algieri in this fight. He costs $5,000 uh, to get, and he's only averaging... 53.8 fantasy points. That's not a lot. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot of damage here. I don't think he scores any knockdowns. I don't think he's probably, you know, he might land a high connect percentage against Eric Bonet, but I don't think Eric Bonet, he showed enough to me that I think he's going to be a difficult spot. Uh, my final buy, buyer beware is going to actually be Dominic Roselli. Dominic Roselli looked really, really uh, just not good against Fred Case, Cassie in the last fight. Um, even though Roselli is averaging an 88% knockout ratio, which I think is good. Um, he's coming in at 4,800. It's a lot against a guy in Charles Martin who, you know, he's obviously has some of his 
holes, and, and he's not the perfect fighter, um, and he's only coming in at 4,700, so this is a very close fight. It shows you how close it really is, um, but the uh, punches thrown per fight for Dominic Brizelli is 661, which is a lot. So that's one good thing for him. Um, punches landed 162, um, and you know Charles Martin throws a lot less punches, um, but Charles Martin is averaging 99.4 fantasy points compared to Dominic Roselli, who's averaging 75.2. I would just stay away from Dominic Brizelli. I, I feel like that last fight against Fred Casey just puts too big of a question mark for me to really say definitely go out and get him. However, if you have a feeling about one of these other fighters, this is good money for probably what's going to be a guaranteed knockout. Um, so speaking of guarantee, let me go to my guarantee. I'm going to finish this up with um, two fighters before uh, we finish up the segment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to pronounce this name. Regis Progras... Progras? Progress. Uh, I know he's from Houston, Texas. Um, standout amateur. He's 15 and 0. He has an 80% KO ratio. Um, he's actually went on an eight-fight KO streak before his last fight, which was a unanimous decision win against Amos Coart. Okay, and so uh, Regis is fighting Abel Ramos, who's 14 and 0 with two or 14 and 0, two draws with nine KOs. Um, so as you can see. By the graphic, Regis is getting 116.4 fantasy points. The big problem with Regis is that he costs 5,800. He's the most expensive fighter of this contest. Um, you know, I don't like picking the most expensive fighter, but this is my guarantee pick. I promise you, he will do damage to Abel Ramos. I don't know if he's going to get you that 116 points, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that at the very least you're gonna get 75 points out of him. And in a contest like this, where there are guys like Chris Algieri and uh, Danny Jacobs who are the favorites, you know these guys might not go uh, get the early stoppage. So um, it's good to go with a guy who you know has pop. My final fighter that I want to go over. This is my other guarantee. And this isn't a guarantee in terms of what he'll do. But this is a guarantee in terms of he's landing on all my teams. And that is Omar Figueroa. Omar Figueroa is right now going for $5,000, which is really good money for this contest. I'm telling you, $5,000 is really good money. Uh, Omar Figueroa is averaging 91.4 points. This is a very rare case for throwdown. You don't usually get a guy as cheap as 5,000 who averages 91.4 fantasy points. He's going against a guy in Antonio DeMarco who looked really shot last time out. He's going for 4,200. Um, you know, he's averaging 40.4 fantasy points. Um, but, you know, Omar throws a ton of punches. His connect percentage is pretty decent. Um, you know, so he's landing what he lands. I think this is going to be a high impact fight. It's going to be a firefight. They're going to go out there. They're going to try to impress. They're going to rack up fantasy points. Okay, think about the terms of like uh, of uh, Francisco Vargas and Mira from the other week. Uh, this is a fight that will have a lot of punches. It could have a couple knockdowns maybe. So there are going to be points to be gotten, and I think they're going to come out of Omar Figueroa, and that's who I would go with my guarantee. And that has been your Throwdown Fantasy Minute with Mario. Come and play me because I will beat you. And how can they play you? They can play me by going to throwdownfantasy.com, signing up, and uh, definitely use the, th the Boxing Voice promo code that we have uh, listed for you. We will have listed for you, um, but you can also put in the suggestions too, and uh, that helps us out. So um, sign up for free. Um, or come to Twitter and challenge me, and we can play a $25 game, $50 game, whatever. I can take that money real quick. 